picture yourself as like a 20 year old humanitarian worker, whatever she is, but she has her blue passport. She has to go to show it to a Taliban fighter with an AK-47 who's murdering people in the street, by the way, because they were cutting people's body parts off in the street. You get, if you could get past, now you gotta make it through a th crowd of 100,000 people. People were literally being stomped and trampled to death in the mud. The Taliban was shooting for crowd control. People were taking their babies and putting them on top. They were kissing them goodbye because they'd rather, they'd rather like give them a chance to get to freedom than let them become like the little girls become sex slave forever or the boys be going to madrasas and become terrorists. They kiss these babies goodbye, put them on the top of the crowd, crowd surf them to the wall and throw them over the wall and not realizing on the other side of the wall was like six feet high of Constantino wire and 20 feet deep of Constantino wire. My buddy Joe Robert counted six babies in, in that wire that bled to death. I mean, that's the level of chaos that you're asking, you know, Americans to go through, you know, a lie to the American public to say that, hey, if, they don't, if they're not showing up to evacuate, then they don't want to leave.